So I've had another look at the rules, and I think I might have another correction to make. Back back in video when I was talking about what was in the Leviathan box, that there was a bunch of stuff in there that wasn't going to be able to be used by the Dark Angels, Space Wolves, and Black Templars. Specifically, uh, the Librarian for the Black Templars and the Apothecary for the Space Wolves, as well as the Stern Guard veterans for both the Dark Angels and the Space Wolves. They've been careful in previous editions not to put the Space Marine half of the starter set or launch box that certain chapters can't use. I can't imagine that they'd suddenly let Black Templars field librarians. And the question that I want to answer, add, answer today is, can I put a librarian in a Black Templars detachment? Is there a way around these rules? <laughs> Yes, yeah, so, so in previous editions, it was very straightforward. Um, the, the rule in the Black Templars book said, uh, librarians, psyker units, units with a psyker keyword, cannot be drawn from the Black Templars chapter. Uh, units with the apothecary keyword could not be drawn from the Space Wolves chapter, and so on and so on and so forth. But because they've decided to get rid of chapters and replace them with detachments, they seem to have made a little bit of a mistake. So let's see if we can parse this. Okay, so over on the Black Templar rule, the Black Templar's Righteous Crusaders Detachment rule. If your army faction is adept at Stardis, you can use the Righteous Crusaders Detachment rule. Yeah, uh, okay. So the restriction, one restriction is your army can use Black Templars, but it cannot include any Adeptus Astartes units drawn from any other chapter. What does that mean, drawn from any other chapter? That just means that you can't use the units that have Ultramarine faction keyword or whatnot. So at the end of the main Space Marine Index, you've got like Kasaro Khan, who's got White Scars as a thing. So you couldn't put him in this Righteous Crusaders detachment, right? You, scroll up. you can't put Vulcan in it because he's got Salamanders. You can't put Adrex in it. He's got Salamanders, etc., etc. You can't put Iron Father Phyros, Fer 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 Feros in it because he's Iron Hands, etc., etc. I, I, we, we've been over this. Pedro Cantor is now listed as Imperial Fists and not Crimson Fists. That's very interesting. What? Oh, okay, here it is. This model is from the Crimson Fist chapter. For all purposes, it includes the Imperial Fist model, but it cannot be included in a model in an army that includes any other Imperial Fist. Okay, that's that. What I I don't. Whatever. Fine. Sure. Go nuts. I don't care. That's a stupid way of doing it. You should not have done these detachments if they're just going to be the same old sub factions of old. And the reason for that is what I was getting at, which is that <clears throat> because this is now a detachment rather than a proper sub-faction chapter thing. Okay. Your army can include Black Templars, but can include... Well, this doesn't say that this army can't include Black Templars. Everybody gets oath of a moment. Hello. Scroll down, please. Uh, Adeptus of Stardust, Gladius Task Force Detachment doesn't have any restrictions in it. It doesn't say you can't be drawn from the Black Templars here. And, and there's nothing that says that you can't draw the epic heroes from the Black Templars and put them into a Gladius Task Force detachment, as far as I know. Let's, uh, let's just quickly take a look here at good old Chaplain Grimaldus. It can be attached to the following squads. Okay, yeah, great. Um, nope. Adeptus of Stardust, Black Templars. So just don't, don't bring anything that's not, that's got any other chapter keyword, like Imperial Fists, or White Scars into your Gladius Task Force detachment. And you can bring in Chaplain Grimaldus, Crusader Squads, High Marshal Helbrecht, and a Librarian. Because the restriction on Librarians is for this detachment. It's for the Righteous Crusaders detachment. It's not for the Black Templars. Space Wolves. You want to bring Space Wolves with a proper apothecary who can, you know, bring units back. Oh, well, you, guess what? You can do that. You you lose out on, on the special snowflake stuff, so you can't use the Templar Vows. You're trading your doctrines, your once-per-turn, once-per-battle use of these doctrines for your Templar Vows, uh, which may not be a trade-off that you want to take, but on the other hand, you can have your Crusader squads be buffed by a Psyker, which is not really a thing that you could do before. That's a very weird decision, and again, I just think the whole thing about 
switching from sub, like listed named explicit sub factions to detachments is not remotely well thought out. 